In the area we now call the Dakotas Among a vast nation of people called the Sioux In 1831 the man called Sitting Bull was born And in the Hunk Papa Lakota tribe he grew They called him Sitting Bull because his courage Was like a bison who would fight instead of run He had a wife and child and became the tribe's medicine man But for his people there were troubled times to come 1840, 1850, 1860 More and more white settlers moved west every year The whites had guns and strange demands The Sioux be moved off of these lands But like his namesake, Sitting Bull would show no fear Sitting Bull and other brave Lakota tribesmen Fought off the settlers everywhere they could And then the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1868 Conceded settlers would stay off certain areas for good but then whites made the Great Sioux Reservation And said all Sioux who would not live there were illegal And because whites killed the buffalo, old Sioux ways became impossible Many chose the reservation for their people But Sitting Bull refused to give up independence Even though it meant hard, lonely, hungry days And as his legend spread around, other tribes knew where he could be found And thousands joined him, taking courage from his ways in 1874, a colonel named George Custer declared that gold was found in South Dakota's hills. So the whites came pouring back in with the Fort Laramie Treaty broke in. All natives in the way could now be killed. One summer day near a river called Little Bighorn, Custer brought troops to smash a small Indian town. But the army hadn't known how big Sitting Bull's following had grown. Instead of running, they beat Custer's army down. Sitting Bull knew there was no way in the long run that they'd survive against the force they'd soon be facing. So he crossed Canada's border. He gave a choice, not an order. Some could stick with him, others could move to reservations. In later years, he came back peacefully and traveled. In Buffalo Bill's Western Reenactment Fair, he found a world he barely recognized. Though white folks called it civilized, he said they'd learned how to make things, but not how to share. He was killed by police on a reservation. They claimed he was inspiring unrest. And the memory of Sitting Bull is inspiring people still, wherever the small guys stand and fight for the oppressed.